all right and i'm right back here with it okay so this is going to be the new moon in libra reading okay this new moon is occurring on october 16th 2020 okay and as we know new moons represent new beginnings okay so it's like I feel like focusing on the things that you would like to manifest like what's next like what's what's next like what what do you wish to come like what do you envision your next athletes to look like you know for the month for the month it's a monthly thing okay so we're gonna see what we have going on for the new moon in Libra that occurs on October 16th okay But I already know what I am. You know I only wanna come over, put it on I got that one, na, na, na. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for the new moon in Libra. Alright, new moon in Libra. What do we have going on? New moon in Libra. Okay, so new moon in Libra. We have the judgment card first up. So judgment represents some sort of rebirth or reawakening, some sort of renewal, some sort of resurrection. Also, it could represent like letting go of something. So let's just see what's going on because as we know, re um, Libras also represent that factor of always trying to search for balance in life. So it's always like you're on one end of the spectrum. So it's either like here or there, okay? That was my granny. She saw the uh, camera and she said, oh, let me get low. But, okay. So, something is being revived. Something is coming back to life. Some some ele element. Okay. This is some good energy for the new moon in Libra. Okay, so I'm liking this. We have the Wheel of Fortune. You know, so the Wheel of Fortune means um, changes, cycles, so events kind of changing in a certain direction. And depending on the cards that we have surrounding it, that will tell us if it's going in a great direction or if it's going in a bad direction. I think that the Judgment card is a great card. Um, so let's see what comes out after Wheel of Fortune and we'll see, you know, what's happening here. And like I said, I definitely said these new moon and full moon readings also represent the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So it's rep it's very representative of that relationship as well. So so some of you could be being um resurrected we have the emperor this is structure this is discipline this is power this is authority this is strength this is an older male figure so um so far it looks positive to me but let's keep going i want to see everything that comes out here for the new moon we have the high priestess we have all major arcana cards so these are very external events um high priestess represents um like secrets you know, also intuition. Okay. Let's keep going. So the resurrection. Okay, five of wands. So we have petty disagreements, arguing, fighting, you know. Let's see what else we have for our final card. I'm feeling like having some sort of authority over your intuition, okay, and really like being blinded by something or having to make a decision or not wanting to make a decision, okay? And I feel like I want to pull more cards, so let's see. I'm going to pull some more cards. 
um so with the resurrection something could be coming back to life or reawakening of something you know turning in the favor of your authority so this could be ooh, a shift in power baby that's what i feel <laughs> a shift in power so i feel like whoever in the in this situation of the divine feminine the divine masculine whoever has felt like they've been kind of at the mercy of the other person i feel like the power is now switching over okay we have page of wands the power is now switching over with the will of fortune and the emperor the power is now you know uh, the authority is now switching cycles so the discipline is now switching cycles so i feel like this is the divine feminine i feel like this is the divine feminine um coming into their power coming into their structure and their authority because that's what the high priestess is she is the divine feminine she uses her intuition for everything you know, she's very in tune with the moon and with the cycles. In it makes sense because it's a new moon. So I feel like there is a new power coming in with this new moon in Libra, you know, and the divine feminine is just feeling it. It's like overwhelmingly powerful. You feel so intuitive and so in tune with just everything, especially with nature and things outside. Like I feel like you may be you know encountering certain animals it could be like cats it could be rabbits butterflies whatever i just feel like you're very you are you are realizing how in tune you are and it's causing you to go even more deeper um this is definitely more of tapping into your divine purpose there's something else going on here although because with that five of wands and that two of swords it's definitely like ooh. King of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely it's deciding on new ways to make money. Okay, so I feel like that's what the new moon is bringing in. Some of you want to manifest new ways to make money. Or some of you want residual income. Some of you want multiple streams of income. And you are exploring what are the different things that you're interested in um, as far as, you know, your income. But I do feel like there's a new state of being, like feeling more um, powerful when it comes to material success, feeling more powerful when it comes to attracting abundance and prosperity, when it comes to attracting money or windfalls of money. Um, I feel like we are practicing to tap into that. There's something that we don't want to make a decision about with the Two of Swords. We have the magician. So the king of pentacles with the magician. I feel like that is a great omen. Because that's just like you're creating. You're manifesting. You're manifesting money. Okay. So everyone's tapping into that energy of learning how to manifest money. Especially. Um, and I don't want to say especially divine feminine. I feel like divine feminine are figuring out how to um, manifest money. And then divine masculine may be just... Um, really getting out there getting active and getting into the field and manifesting money that way because i feel like they probably already had the mental down and they just need to work on their active i feel like maybe the female um the divine feminine i'm sorry um was too focused on being active out in the field and so now it's time for a switch of power where the divine feminine is focusing more on their manifestation power, their mind power. And then we have the chariot with forward movement. Okay. So, and I'm actually going to keep this short. I'm going to pull some love cards too. So you guys can see what's going on in the love life. Um, so just a quick reread the judgment. There's a wreck, a resurrection, a reckoning, you know, a reawakening. And there's a cycle is the cycle has changed. I feel like this is definitely like um, it's like a karmic thing. I feel that with the judgment and the will of fortune, because both of those cards can represent some sort of karmic um, situation. So I feel like if you've been really um, 
working on since the last full moon like manifesting and being in alignment and just doing everything that you need to do being a good person as well that falls into being in alignment you know and you know really having that self-love for yourself having your boundaries up respecting yourself respecting others and really focusing on your healing and focusing on the things that you want to manifest i feel like there's a shift in power you're receiving that karma back for everything that you've been putting out since the full moon and you kind of see all of these things come in all these benefits that you've reaped you see them come in and it gives you this sense of authority with the emperor and you're like okay i'm in charge of this now like okay i feel how i am a magnet or how i am a frequency i am my own frequency and you're understanding how to tune and tone your own frequency each and every day it's like you've been practicing it and so now it's like you're really in the in the mode of okay i know that i have to rewire and tune my frequency every day and i know that the things that i've been thinking about and wanting to manifest and attract i know that they're coming to me but that doesn't mean in the meantime i don't have to rewire every time i look at the time it gets to 11 11. um you have to rewire yourself every day so that you can be in a high vibration so that when the manifestation gets closer and closer you are ready to receive it okay we're ready to receive it so tapping into your intuition with the high priestess and with the five of wands there's some kind of inner fight that's what that means the five of wands means there's some kind of inner fight or inner struggle that you're having hmm i feel like a lot of people maybe are like what is it that they need to do next and i feel like this may be with in your career this can actually also be love as well of what you should do next. What move, what is the correct move for next? And I don't really see the answer here. <laughs> I don't see that we'll be able to make a decision. It's either, it's either here or there. Um, there's a stalemate. There's something that we are not acting on. Yeah. I feel like when it comes to love, we're choosing not to act. But when it comes to business, we're choosing to explore. And we're choosing to focus in on our material vibration. And because we focus in on our material vibration, we actually tap in to our magician power. And we are just manifesting left and right business and love and money and whatever and so we have forward movement because we are in tune with our vibration i'm going to pull these money cards now because i don't want to keep i don't want this to be too long because i feel like the message is pretty self-explanatory it's not really giving me much else so new moon in libra okay so let's see what we have. What do we have going on for our love life during this new moon in Libra? What does love look like for us with this new moon in Libra energy? What goes on in our love life for this new moon in Libra? What do we have going on here? Some of you are dealing with Taurus and some of you are dealing with Cancer. Okay, so we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Somebody is um, making a decision. And this could be, this could be, okay, so that could be the inner turmoil and not wanting to make a decision. This is the inner conflict, not making a decision. So this could be the divine masculine. Okay. 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 I got it now. <laughs> okay. So there's a reawakening. The power is shifting to the male figures with this divine masculine. Okay. 
the power is being reawakened in the divine masculine and they're getting to a point where they are having such inner conflict because they are not making a decision i got you i got you say less say less divine masculine it's time for you to come to a conclusion okay and really figure out what it is that you want i feel like divine masculine you have so many balls up in the air that you don't know which one to catch and you're just like fuck it the balls let the balls drop where they may whichever one fall on my hands that's the one i'm gonna take and it's like no the universe is really giving you the power and authority over your life right now and you are seeing that and you are feeling it internally that it's time for you to make a decision about like what path it is that you're going to follow what is it that what is it that you're going to do what are you going to do you need to make a decision you can't stay in this space anymore you're not you you can't stay in this space anymore you're not allowed to so i feel like because they're at a stalemate and this could go either way for women or men it's just your divine masculine energy that you have in you whatever this pertains to for you instead of making a decision you're deciding to explore your wealth and focus on material abundance and i definitely know that divine feminines are doing that as well so by you doing this you create an opportunity for a forward movement okay and so that's why we have very soon express your love healing family issues and let go of control issues i feel like definitely with divine masculine they are feeling like they're going against their inner feelings because they feel like some aspect of the divine feminine is controlling them and that's just not the case it's actually the divine feminine that you have within yourself that is fighting your divine masculine to not be so you know overly take over all of the energetic space in your body the divine feminine is coming through now and saying okay move over now like you've had enough time like can you move over now like we're both supposed to be driving this car like or at least if you're driving i'm giving you the directions like come on now so it's like ignoring the person who's supposed to be giving you direction. So you're driving, you just don't know where you're going. You just like, mm -hmm. damn, I think we lost. We've been lost for about five years. <laughs> We've been lost for like five years. Okay, it's time. Like, okay, stop what you're doing. You like take the divine feminine is saying, look, give me, give me this damn map. We're in 2020. I have navigation right here. I'll tell you where to go. And we'll get found we'll get found in like 20 minutes it's fine it's okay we can do it like this it's fine you know we need to work together and so that's what's going on with the energy and that's what's going on with actual people in relationships so healing family ish family issues um a lot of people could be um and i de i just feel like this reading is um it's talking about both, but it is about the shift in power with the divine masculine. So it is mainly um, showing what's going on with the divine masculine, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, some of you could be going through a certain healing with your parents, whoever you still have not forgiven, whichever side, it could be both. You know, certain aspects of those relationships, you're coming into more compassion, more understanding of it. And it's helping you to heal your own family relationships that you have going on and things. And then we have, so we already did very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it's like, yeah, divine masculine is coming to awareness of what actually his soul is yearning for okay express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so you know you're deciding with that chariot card too that okay i'm gonna move forward i'm gonna move forward i'm gonna speak up i'm gonna speak my mind i'm gonna open my heart up i'm not gonna be scared i'm gonna be vulnerable i'm gonna let it be known how i feel i'm gonna be let it be known that i want this person i'm gonna let it be known that i'm trying to get jiggy with you shorty for real you know it's like and that's why 
it, it, that's why this is like Libra. Because this is air sign. This is air sign. And it's it's like Libra is here or there. It's like you're either picking this or you're either picking that. Okay? So it's like that's what the energy is giving. It's like you make a choice. It's time. Okay? Make a choice. Make a choice. Let me get two more cards and I'm going to end the reading. Y'all gotta just be accepting of my like dance breaks. Like I freaking love to dance. If you see me on Twitter or Instagram, you already know that about me. Let's get two more cards. Deception. Oh, child. I don't wanna hear about no deception. Religious factors. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So. I feel like that's just explaining how someone just knows that they're not being true to themselves of how they really are, how they really want to be, who they really want to be with or be around is just because and with the religious fact factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So it's like some people are even dealing with belief structures around them that are they could be dating someone because of their belief system of how they were raised how their family thinks they should date who their family thinks they should date um how it would look if they dated a certain kind of person how that looks to their family or dating outside of your race dating outside of your religion or dating people who believe in certain things it's kind of like that kind of thing so it's like you know People are in love, like people are in love and really it's like unconditional. So it's like, it doesn't matter. All these other things, these structures that are built outside of us, they don't matter. And so instead of continuing to fight that and saying, no, I can't do with this person because this person does not equal this in my life. It doesn't sum up to this summation or equation it doesn't equal to this so i can't even do that but your heart is in it okay so it's like shedding this mask letting it go living for yourself walking in your truth okay and that's it i'm gonna leave it at that that's what we have going on for the new moon in Libra that occurs on October 16, 2020. Please let me know what you think. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. How does this reading pertain to you? Um, and thank you always for watching. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid. And follow me on Twitter at The Magic Mermaid. You can also find me on Facebook, Magic Mermaid. Okay? I will see you guys soon. We have love readings coming out this week. So I will see you guys for that. Thanks for watching.